Hello all, welcome to another video and this is the next video in Linux for DevOps series and this is all about user management today. Uh, I thought of having one more session on, on user management because I wanted to cover some real-time scenarios that I have faced in the past. So let's begin. So I've made a list of all the commands that, I, that I'm going to use in this session. Okay, so let's see the, the commands one by one. So as I mentioned in my last video also, that to see any help with the, any of the commands, you can use a hyphen hyphen help option. So if I do user mod, space hyphen hyphen help i can see all the different options that are available with this command okay and one more thing uh, user mode just want to repeat myself user mode is a command that is used to modify an existing user so the user which is already created on the system and if you want to modify some details of that user you can use the user mode command okay so apart from uh, uh, hyphen hyphen help, there is one more way to check the details of the different options available with a command and uh, that is using man pages. So you can use man user mod and this is going to give you some additional details and you can scroll through this information using the down arrow key okay and you can see there is so much of information and it is not easy to absorb this as well but in case you need any information you can always refer to these man pages or the help option available to come out of it i'll press q button from the keyboard okay <clears throat> so this is the way you can check the additional details with, with any, any of the commands let's try to create one user called lee using the user add command so user add command is used to add a, a local user on your Linux system okay uh, if you are uh, coming on this coming on this channel for the first time and you have not watched the earlier two videos I would recommend that you I mean, uh, start from video one then video two and then this video okay this is going to help you because these videos are going in sequence so if, if you have uh, uh, watched the videos one and two then it, it will be easier for you to understand this session okay all right i just wanted to mention it if, if you're coming on this channel for the first time next so i want to create a user called lee using user add command <clears throat> okay so whenever i run this command i also make an entry in slash etc slash pass wd file okay so to verify that what i'll do is i'll try to get the i'll try to uh capture the details of this user lee which i just created so for that i have to run a command called grab so i'll do grab grep space name of the user uh, space then the name of the file where i want to search information for this user so that is slash etc slash pass wd so i can see that the user was created and an entry was made in slash etc slash pass wd file okay let's see the next command So to, to see the UID and GID information uh, for a user that you have created, you can use ID space Lee. If you see here, I uh, we can see the UID or the user ID that is associated with this user that is 1001 and the name of the user is Lee. Okay. Then there is one more thing called GID or the primary group ID. Okay. That's 1001 and the name of the group is Lee. Okay, and uh, in, in, in this uh, section groups, you will see the information of all the groups associated with the user, which is only one group at the moment, it's called Lee. So if you see here, this GID is called the primary group ID and they will always be one primary group for any user, for any uh, local user on a Linux machine. Always remember this, okay? But uh, you can have uh, multiple supplementary groups. So there are two types of groups attached to any local user on Linux system. Okay, one is primary group, which is always one. And then there's supplementary groups. The supplementary groups are not mandatory, but I mean, you can, uh, but if you want to add this, this uh, user to any, any number of groups, you can do this. You can do it using the supplementary group option. Okay, <clears throat> so right now there's only one group. So when you, uh, don't specify any any group while getting the user that uh, user will have only one primary group and 
the name of the group will be same as the name of the user always okay by default next is <clears throat> now uh, there's one more command called group add command which is to create an individual group okay if you want so just like you have this user add command to create a new local user on your machine similarly you can create multiple new groups on on a linux machine using group add command okay group add command so i just want to create one more group here using this command group add space name of the group which is dev and as soon as you create any new group on a linux machine there's there's one more file which is updated which is slash etc slash group so this is the file which is updated each time you get a new group on the linux system if i just I try to see the contents of this file using the cat command i can see the last entry which was just made dev okay next command is okay this i already covered grab dev etc group this this i already already covered then uh, and let's use this this user mod command now now the scenario is suppose this new user that you've created named lee there's a requirement to add this user to another group which is dev and the primary group of the user should not be changed but a new supplementary group should be added to the user lee okay so how to do that you can use the user mod command as i mentioned earlier to uh, modify an existing user okay then space hyphen small a hyphen uh, small a is stands for append okay append means to add something so I mean, why we're using this this option here because we are not changing the primary group of the user we are only adding supplementary groups to this user okay so we will use hyphen small a then capital g this capital g stands for supplementary groups remember this okay so whenever you you're trying to add the supplementary groups you have to use hyphen small a to append that that supplementary group to the user okay so which which uh, group do we want to add we want to add dev group to the user or we can add i mean we want to add this user to dev group space then the name of the user that you want to add to this group dev lee so this is how we run the command now if i do id space lee i can see this new group appearing in the group section okay so now we have two groups okay one is the uh, the primary group which is lee and then there is one more supplementary group which is dev group after we run this command okay next command is <coughs> group add junior now i want to add one more i want to create one more uh, individual group using group add command so i'll do group add space junior and now i would want to use uh, i would uh, i would want to add this uh, user to one more supplementary group called junior so once again i have to use the same command called user mod so i'll do user mod space hyphen small a then capital g in the name of the group to which i want to use the adder to uh, user to and then name of the user now if i do id space name of the user i can see this new group also added to the group section so now this user has one primary group called lee and two more supplementary groups called dev and junior okay so so this is how you can add a user to multiple supplementary groups if you want to now if you want to uh, modify the primary group of the user okay now i want to uh, I, i want to change the primary group of the of the user so for that the command is user mod space hyphen small g now if you see here i'm not using the append option here because append is used to add an an uh, uh, one more group but here since one local user can only have one primary group at a time so i don't have the option to append i can only change the primary group so so that's why here i just have to use hyphen small g okay without a option without a uh, small a option okay so user mod hyphen g then i want the the primary group of the user to be dev and and for which user it is lee user okay now if i do id space lee i can see the primary group of the user lee uh, 
it has changed to def and the two supplementary groups are still there sorry there's one supplementary group which is which is still there okay since uh, so now the lee group has been removed because it was the primary group and and we can only have one primary group at a time for a local user okay but the other supplementary group junior is still there all right so this is how you can change the primary group of a user as well okay then uh, to uh, delete a user you have to do user del and to ensure that the home directory of the user is also deleted you have to use a flag called hyphen small r so space hyphen small r then the name of the user so in this way you are trying to delete a user lee along with the home directory of the user okay but now you will see this this message group lee not removed because it is it is it is not the primary group of of user lee okay so why it happened this is because we changed the primary group of the user <clears throat> so the group was not removed so when you delete a user okay the name of the group with the same name is also deleted uh, but in this case since we changed the the primary group of the user the group lee was not deleted since it is it is not the primary group right now okay the primary group is dev so if if i check the entry in slash etc slash group i can still see this group listed there dev group is still there okay sorry lee group is still there okay so what i have to do is if i want to delete these uh, groups to keep my system uh, clean i have to use something called as group delete del command so there's one more command to delete the groups on a linux machine so it, it is a group del command so just type the group del space then the name of the group that you want to delete now if i try to cat the contents of the file i will not see this entry okay so group lee was deleted successfully <clears throat> okay or right, that's the next command if you see here now uh, the last command that i want to cover is user add command but with our customized option so what we have seen is whenever we are trying to create a user using the user add command and just giving the username we are using the default options given in on the linux machine but we do have the option to customize this while creating the user in the first place so for that i have this command here and i'll i'm going to explain everything related to this command Okay, so I'll just copy this command here, and I'll type this. So let's see uh, the meaning of this uh, big command here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a new user, but I want to change the home directory of the user. So I want to keep the home directory of the user as slash home slash hunt. So I'm um, so so here I'm trying to customize the home directory of the new user. Uh, at the time of creation itself okay then hyphen c stands for comments and we generally keep it as the name of the user that we want to keep okay so the name of the user i want to keep here is jack hunt and uh, this is how you have to put it then hyphen s stands for shell so if you if you remember uh, by default the user is given the shell as bash shell slash bin slash bash but here i'm trying to change the shell to slash bin slash sh so there are different types of shells in linux okay not just bash so here i'm trying to use another shell called uh, slash bin slash sh then hyphen g stands for the primary group of the user which i want to change it to dev okay so i i, I want to keep this uh, i mean uh, the primary group of the user to dev and not to the default one which is given by the system when we create the user then hyphen u stand for uid so i want to keep my own uid for this new user which is 1005 okay then i am using hyphen capital g which stand for the supplementary group so i want to add this user to one more supplementary group or i mean one more group which is ec2 hyphen user and then i want to we keep the name as jack so in this way i am able to customize the the user configuration at the time of creation of the user okay so 
there are two ways either other other you can create the user using the default option and then use the user mode to uh, you know change the details of the existing user or you can customize the user at the time of creation using these many options these flags that i've used in this command okay so so, so now let's try to run this command and now I try to grab the information from slash etc slash pass wd okay so i'll do grab jack <coughs> slash and from slash etc slash pass wd file so you can see the user was created successfully and an entry was made in slash etc slash pass wd file and if you see whatever whatever options we used our customized options are all included in this user okay so if you see the name of the user is jack the uid is 1005 the gid is 1002 which is for the group dev okay then the name of the user is jack hunt then the uh, home directory of the user is slash home slash hunt and the shell was changed to slash bin slash sh all right so this is all about it i just wanted to um, cover these things i thought it is it is really important for you to know all right so i'm going to end the video now and if, if you like my video uh, please like and share with your friends and family and uh, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification of our of, 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 of my next videos all right guys uh, i'm going to end the video now and i'm going to see you in the next one bye